Leverage Ansible Callback Plugins for Enhanced Performance Profiling, Troubleshooting and Optimizing Resources in Ansible Automation with Timer, Profile Task and Profile Role Callback Plugins Ansible is a powerful open source automation tool used for configuration management, application deployment and task automation. To harness the full potential of Ansible, it's essential to fine-tune its configuration according to your specific needs. In this article, I will delve into the ansible.cfg file and explore how to optimize Ansible's performance by utilizing and callback plugins. Specifically, we will focus on the default sections of the ansible.cfg file and the configuration option callback underscore whitelist and callback underscore enabled. Understanding callback plugins. Callback plugins in Ansible are used to customize the output of playbooks and provide additional functionality during playbook execution. They can be configured globally in the Ansible CFG file or per playbook using the Ansible CFG setting in the current directory or project. Callback plugin offer a wide range of capabilities uh, from generating custom uh, reports to monitor playbook execution time. The Ansible CFG file. The Ansible CFG file is a central configuration file that governs Ansible behavior. It's typically located in the ATC Ansible directory for system-wide configuration or in the project directory for playbook-specific configuration. To modify Ansible's behavior, you can edit this file to include various settings related to callback plugins. Within the Ansible CFG file, configuration settings for callback plugins are placed in the default section. Two case options are utilized. Callback underscore whitelist this option specifies the list of callback plugins that are allowed to run during playbook execution. Callback underscore enabled. This option specifies the callback plugin that should be enabled. By default, if a plugin is whitelisted, it is also enabled. However, you can use this option to enable or disable specific plugins explicitly. Benefit of callback plugins. Configuring callback plugins in Ansible.cfg provides several benefits. Performance optimization. Callback plugins like Ansible.posix.timer allow you to measure the execution time of task and role, helping identify performance bottleneck in your playbook. Profiling playbooks. Callbacks such as Ansible.posix profile underscore task and Ansible.posix profile underscore role enable detailed profiling and playbook execution, aiding in troubleshooting and optimization efforts. Custom reporting Callback plugin can be customized to generate specific reports or logs, making it easier to track the progress of your Ansible execution. Selective execution. By configuring callback plugins, you can choose which callbacks are active, reducing noise and focusing on the information that matter most of you. Okay. Now, welcome to my editor. Let's suppose we have uh, already typed an Ansible playbook. For example, this is the most simple one that uses the Ansible ping module to test the connection with our target host. As you can see, it uses the ansible.builtin.ping module just for testing the connection. This is super easy and you already are more than familiar. For people that are not, it's simply 
you need to know that this is going to test the connection to the target host and the ability to execute the Python on the target node. Super easy and super popular. Uh, I already also prepare a simple inventory that is only target the local host. If you don't know what Ansible underscore connection means, check it out my other video. Um, what I wanted to do is actually enable the Ansible callback plugins that we discussed before, specifically the Ansible.posix.timer and Ansible.posix profile task and just because I'm in the mood also Ansible.posix profile role. You can find all these names highlighted here in the using the callback underscore whitelist and then specify after the equal sign name by name separating with a comma as well also on, on the underneath callbacks underscore enabled as you can see there are three different modules that uh, are going to be enabled by this Ansible CFG. Because this Ansible configuration file is in the same directory every time I'm executing my playbook, it will trigger this configuration. Now, let's move to the terminal to see the execution of this uh, specific configuration. Welcome to my terminal. As you can see, this is the same exact directory that we saw in our editor and I'm ready to execute my Ansible playbook. Uh, just because uh, there is this Ansible configuration file active that enables the callbacks plugin, I'm expecting a more verbose output than usual. So let me execute my Ansible-playbook command, specify my inventory with dash i parameter and the name of my Ansible playbook as usual, so ping.yml, so ansible-playbook-i inventory ping.yml. Okay, now the execution, as you can see, is getting more and more verbose. So I'm going to have uh, uh, the full timer of every execution and also the very nice recap by the end of all the running module and the timing that to actually execute. As you can see, this playbook is very compact, so it doesn't have a lot of um, a lot of tasks, but it gives you the concept. Basically, there are two tasks. One is gathering of facts, and the other is to actually execute the ping module. As you can see, the total execution time is 0.82 seconds and we are dedicating most of the time on the fact gathering event that is actually not used inside our playbook. So a very simple execution, a very simple optimization could be to disable the fact gathering and this is going to give us more fast execution, specifically 0.22 compared to 0.82 so quite a impactful execution okay uh, it's also very nice to see that uh, uh, every step is uh, uh, related with a specific time and execution of this playbook in using this methodology we can deep dive inside our playbook and also trigger more uh, get more inf information now let, i would like to demonstrate uh, how is the execution without my ansible cfg um, configuration file for doing this i just move the configuration file inside the test directory so my directory configuration is like this the inventory file and the playbook and the configuration is hidden inside one um, the test directory so let me uh, type the same exact command that I did before ansible dash playbook using dash i inventory and ping yml. Okay, the execution now is getting more compact and as you can see the output only resembles the uh, normal ansible playbook uh, that you're probably familiar with. Just to re-enable the callback I just need to move the configuration file in the same directory 
and you can see that it's getting more verbose. This time the fact gallery is actually more faster because it took uh, 0.45 seconds so the total execution is uh, uh, even more compact. But you got a concept. Conclusion. The Ansible.cfg file is a powerful tool for fine-tuning Ansible behaviors and callback plugin offer a way to significantly enhance its performance and functionality. By configuring the default section of the Ansible.cfg with options like callback underscore whitelist and callbacks underscore enabled, you can tailor Ansible's callback plugin used to your specific requirements. This control level helps improve performance and streamline your Ansible automation workflows, making them more efficient and intuitive. I can't wait to hear your success story. Have a great rest of the day and stay tuned. Cheers, let's automate more.